Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about compound interest. So below is the compound interest formula. Let's talk about what all the different parts mean. So this p-value is called the principal, which is really just the initial amount. So it's your starting amount, but it has a fancy name which is called principal. R is the annual interest rate, which will be given to you usually as a percent. So you need to make sure to change it to a decimal. Okay, um, N is the number of times your investment is compounded each year. That means how many times do they take your initial amount, add the interest, and then um, that becomes your new initial amount. So for instance, if it's compounded quarterly, then they do it four times a year, and your N would be four. And then you'll also see that N is in your exponent as well. And last, T is the number of years that your investment has been earning interest. And then it tells you your new amount, which is A. So let's give this a try. It says you deposit $9,000 into an account that pays 1.46 annual interest. Find the balance after three years when the interest is compounded in the following ways. So I see that this 9000 This will be my principal. I see that I have an interest rate of 1.46, so that means R is 0 0.0146. I see that the that my they want my balance after three years, so T is three. And then they're asking for um, a number of different. Um, variations of being compounded. So they want us to know when it's annually compounded, meaning once per year, quarterly, meaning four times a year, monthly, meaning 12 times a year, and daily, meaning 365 per year. So let's start with annually. So say A equals 9,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0146 divided by 1, because I'm compounded annually, 1 time per year, times 1 to the 1 times 3, or to the third power. Now, if you plug that into your calculator, you need to make sure to be very careful with your use of parentheses. You should get $9,399.98. Okay, let's try compounded quarterly. So my principle is the same. So 1 plus 0 0.0146 divided by 4, because it's compounded 4 times a year, to the power of 4 times 3, n times t. If you plug that into your calculator, you should get $9,402.21. Let's try monthly. So this time, our n value is 12, and we raise it to the power of 12 times 3, nt. And for this, you should get $9,402.71. And last but not least, let's try daily. So since there are 365 days in a year, we will do 365 times 3. And you should get $9,402.95. So you can see that each year, that first jump from annually to quarterly is a little bit larger. And then from there on, the amount... Um, the extra amount that you earn is pretty incremental, but if you really are investing a large amount of money, it can make a difference. Um, now, I think the trickiest part of these problems is honestly plugging them into the calculator. You just have to be really clear, you know, in your calculator to put parentheses around um, things that are being multiplied or divided, because remember, your calculator will follow order of operations, so you need to be very clear how, what order you want your calculator to simplify in. And that is it for today.